Hello, my name's Duncan and welcome to Baft Books. I'm back away from the donkey. I need a zen moment. I won't explain it, but I do need a zen moment. So I am going to do what all the cool kids have been doing. Uh, Michael Michael Romeo talks books and Al at Big Al does books tube. I'm going to have a look at what other Goodreads users have classified as my worst and best books. So we're going to have a look at their ratings. So we're going to start with the 10 worst. Okay. And so this is according to them. And as you know, Goodreads ratings are one to five. I don't always rate my books on Goodreads. And I've only been using Goodreads for a few years on and off. And I have issues with it, but I have issues with many things. Um, just to say, in my classification, I'd classify a three star book as a very good book and I would reread it. But so we are going to start with the worst ones for this first video. I'm going to do it over two videos. So the worst ones is we're going to start at. Uh, we're going to go 10 to 1. The t number 10 is the what they classify as my 10th most worst one. That makes sense. 1 is the worst one. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is all, all the list of my books and where they go in that classification. Does this make any sense to you? Because I think I'm talking nonsense here. Okay, so number 10 for me is Outland. And this is the film oh, so i've got a list in front of me if you're wondering what i'm looking at this is the alan dean foster uh tie novel and as with all alan dean foster uh novel ties in he does a very very good job and managed to to expand it on well as he can and i really quite enjoyed it but good reach uh people rated that as a 3.53 uh which if i was rating it i think that's a pretty fair sort of rating if you do on my theory whether they think it's a fair rating is another one so then number nine is alien free which is the first draft screenplay which was put together by pat cadigan uh obviously from the original idea by william gibson and this was quite a short book and it was basically published last year or year before and it was a different version of the story i found it interesting but i didn't find it particularly good and Goodreads raters have rated it 3.5. I think that's been rather generous on it, personally. It was readable. Will I go back and reread it? It was more reading on the curiosity value. I probably won't go back and reread it, even though I own it. So, yeah. So I, I disagree with that one. Number eight is Jack Williamson, Darker Than You Think. And they've given it a 3.5, which I think is not as good as it should be. Uh, Jack Williamson's Dark and You Think is the best werewolf novel ever, as far as I'm concerned. If you've not read it, you should go and read it. And they've given it 3.5. I think it needs at least a 4. At least a 4. So after Dark What You Think, number 7. Obviously, we're getting uh, the ratings are getting lower. Uh, I must admit that my lowest rating on the whole of this, I'll, spoiler alert, is 2.73. So I haven't got any 1 stars from uh, other good reads, I uh, believe. But what you, I said, what I said earlier, as you have to remember, is some of these books are probably quite obscure and probably got less people rating them. So I don't know how accurate the um, rating is going to be on them. So anyway, number seven is Galactic Clusters by James Blish. They've given it a 3.49. Uh, would I give it that? Probably a bit less. It's, I like James Blish, but it's not one of his best ones. It's a collection of short stories. It's probably about a three for me. Then it's number six, the main man himself, Philip K. Dick. Cosmic Puppets, and they've given it a 3.48. Uh, three and a half to four. It's not one of Philip K. Dick's best. It was one of his own fantasies. Uh, I quite, I enjoyed it, but then I enjoyed anything Philip K. Dick-wise. So 3.5 is probably a fair enough mark for it. Uh, number five down the list is Plague from Space, Harry Harrison. 3.45, uh, other good reads, readers have given it. Not one of Harrison's best books, but it's still a very good book. And I last read it in the middle of the COVID pandemic, so it was quite sort of obvious then. Um, 3.45, 3 3.5, yeah, probably reasonably fair. Next one is number four. We have Time Masters by Tucker Wilson, uh, which is a story of immortality and history and quite an interesting book. They got a 3.42, 3.5-ish. Uh, that's probably a fair enough mark. 
And the next one is a anthology called This Year's Science Fiction Number 7. Edited by Brian Aldis and Harry Harrison and Goodreads readers of Unit 3.29. I have my copy here. So take Unit 3.29. Which I think, personally, is a little harsh because it's got Rollable Murder uh, by William Harrison, which is worth four stars all by itself. And actually, I've got Rollable Murder in its own anthology here. And that is a gruesome, a gruesome, brutal, brutal story. If you've not read it, you should do. Uh, what else have they got in this book? Uh, this is good Robert Shetley. Uh, we Are Happy Here, uh, Joe H Hedelman. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty good book. So I think the 3.29 is a little harsh. I'd probably give it 3.5 to 4 if I'm using their ratings. Not that I ever give things star ratings very often. So, number two. Charles Burlitz, The Mystery of Atlantis. Yes, I picked up a bunch of Charles Burlitz a couple of years back. Uh, if anybody's as old as me, you remember sort of the late 70s, early 80s, everybody was into unexplained things. And Charles Burlitz, who was did the travel guides and, and lots of things like that, also wrote lo lots of sort of pseudoscience books. And The Mystery of Atlantis, it was entertaining to read. Uh, they've good read three just given it 3.24 which is probably a little bit generous i'd give it sort of two and a half ish would i read it again i probably would actually weirdly even though it doesn't hit my criteria of a three but yeah it's probably generous and then my worst book that i've read on my goodreads list according to other users of goodreads is a book called son of adam by margaret rome which was a romance novel a bad romance novel and it was a terrible book and I know I'm not the market for it but there was just a lot wrong with it I haven't given up on reading the old romance book and I will try again but that was pretty bad they've given it a 2.73 which I think is incredibly generous because <laughs> it was bad uh, so that was a Mills and Boone book I've got a couple more that I'm going to read at some point but yeah so that was the bottom list of what Goodreads readers rate books that have been on my shelves or I've read. I don't know how to describe this. I'm probably Al or Michael described it a lot better. So that's the bottom. So the next one we will do will be the top list, which will be in another video. So thank you for watching and I will speak to you all very soon.